Oh, wow. You would dig this. I like this, this a is, lot. You love an angle. This is crazy. Like she basically turned. All right, so a few months back, we remodeled this open area of our house that we use as a living room slash dining room. And by far the biggest obstacle for me was designing for a room that's just so oddly shaped. Now, I went into more detail about it in those videos, but long story short, you walk into the foyer, foyer, anyway, here. Then we've got this fireplace focal wall that's at a 45 degree angle here. This really awkward nook here that's a result of an addition that somebody did in the 70s and this huge cutout in that wall that looks down into the family room that they added on. Then these angled steps that lead into the family room. And this other bump out here that's for a laundry room that comes off of the kitchen, which is what this doorway leads to. Bottom line, it's a really weird room with lots of angles and nooks and at least for me, it made it really tricky to design for. So when the sponsor of this video, Fiverr, reached out with essentially an open invitation, this is immediately what jumped into my mind. I wanted to see what solutions other people would come up with if they were faced with this same challenge. So that's what we're gonna find out today. Now, real quick, just in case you don't know what Fiverr is, basically they connect businesses or really anybody that's looking for some sort of digital service with freelancers who can provide that service. So if you want to find out more about that, head over to the link that you see on the screen here, it's also in the description, to check out the services available to you and get 10% off with the code 4eyes. So obviously we're going to be looking for people who are experts in furniture layout or floor plans, but that said, the scope of what you can find there is way beyond what we're going to be using it for. Okay, so I'm going to look for five different designers and I'm going to give them the same brief. I'll basically explain the situation what we're looking for, and then I'm gonna encourage them to be creative with their recommendations. I'll also give them an overhead drawing of the room with all the dimensions, as well as a few isometric drawings of the room and a 3D model to hopefully give them just a better understanding of what the space looks like. And other than that, I think I'm just gonna leave it pretty open because I don't wanna bias them with too much information going in. All right, let's hire some designers. Okay, I'm not sure what to search for, so let's try space planning. And I'm going to say that was a decent term because it looks like a lot of these drawings are furniture layouts. Ooh, furniture layout. That's a good one. Okay, a lot of these look pretty good too. I'm not really sure what I should search. Okay, this one looks promising. Imari? Emery? I'm bad with names. Actually, you know what? Apologies in advance to all of the designers whose names I'm probably gonna butcher right now. Anyway, it looks like for 10 bucks, I can get space planning and furniture layout, which is exactly what I'm looking for. She's only got four reviews, but 4.9 stars, so I feel pretty confident. And I don't know, $10 isn't really that huge of a risk, so let's see what 10 bucks will get you. All right, Julieta, Julieta? I'll say Julieta. Looks like the only difference in the basic standard and premium packages is the size of the room. So I think I can go with the $20 option, which is for 650 square feet. Actually. Okay, I'm feeling good, feeling loose, and I think I'm ready to uh, spend a little bit more. All right, so this one, Surrey, I'm guessing. If your safety is at risk, Ask me to call emergency services or someone you trust. Anyway, she's a little bit more expensive, but she's a level two seller with 49 reviews and three in the queue. Does that mean she's better? I don't know, but only one way to find out, right? All right, I'm gonna be honest. This might be overkill for what I need, but I'm kind of intrigued. She's got a whole book thing here, includes some renders, a shopping list. I don't think I personally need this, but I just wanna see what the experience is like. See if you get more for your money, so. 155 bucks, let's do it. Okay, I'm officially off the deep end now. I'm gonna go big for the last one here. I found this designer, Living Bright. She's won awards. She's an NKBA trained designer. I don't know what that means. Do you know what NKBA means? New kid, block. Firing. 
soon as Joey yeah, McIntyre's like, dead. It's a kid that's aspiring to be a new kid on the block. What do you think, Chris? I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was going to say new kids on the block attitude. Oh. Gotta get it. Hammy, what do you think? I like those guys. No guesses. All right. We're back. I'm here with my wife, Dolores. She has no idea what's going on, so I think we're going to start by showing her what you guys just watched. She's won awards. She's an NKBA trained designer. Can I guess? What do you think it means? National kick ass. <laughs> national kick ass. What's the, the other B. NK. Kick the national kick ass. Bad ass. <laughs> national kick ass. Bad ass. Wait, did you find out what it was? What it stands for? Yeah. First is the ten dollar one, which was Emory or Imari. What do you think it was? Uh, Imari. Probably Imari. I'm nervous. What? I don't know. Let me see. It looks like she. Oh, she did a couple oh, of renders wow. too. Okay, what is that? Like plants? Those are like probably curtains and plants. I would oh, say. Yeah, yeah. We're sitting right here right now. Is that now. a cat? No. That's a pillow. I mean, I like, can kind of, yeah, I kind of see it. Like, that's its ears right there, and that's yeah. like a little paw coming. <laughs> it looks like a it fat looks like a little cat. <laughs> so then that means that cat would be on its butt, like, going, like, supermaning into the air, basically. I would say this is, like, the most safe layout. Like, this is what 97 out of 100 people would do the room in essentially this layout. Well, I don't know, because I think most people like to push it against the wall, so this is in the middle, so that's... Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. At least they would get the idea of like, okay, I can push things away from the wall. I could do a little like some seats right here. What's that? It's like scroll. Those two little dots, are they like little? Probably like little side tables. Well, here, let's see. So she did a couple of renderings, it looks like. So yeah, those are like two little side tables. That's kind of cool. Is that like a barn door? No, I'd say it's just like a wooden pattern. Just a... You didn't send them real life No, I did picture. not send so any photos. that's pretty good that they... Yeah, she was able to like extrapolate for 10 bucks. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, here we have Julieta for $20. 20. Or Julieta, I don't know. What's your... Julieta. So option, so I guess she's going to give us options. So option A is essentially what we just saw, except for she built that into like a TV thing, which is kind of what we had when we first moved in, moved in and we, we were not using the family room yet. We were poor. It looks like she made this like a little desk right here behind us. Option B looks like it's kind of the same thing, but got rid of the TV, or maybe there's a TV here in that one, or maybe there? That seemed a little weird to have a TV right there in the dining room. Whatever, you could just ignore that, put a TV here above the fireplace, and this works, and then it yeah. looks like she made this into like a little desk kind of table area. Yeah. That's not bad. Option C, I'm guessing. So now she switches, so she's got a circular. Oh. So that's kind of cool. Like, I never even considered that. No. So basically turn this, what is now the dining area, into the living room. Turn that into the dining room yeah. area and do a round table. That's I don't hate that. Like, I mean, th I don't think this would be a great TV watching area personally, but no. like it's not our main TV area anyway. It's basically just for like spillover TV watching. Here's another option where they've got those switched. Actually seeing this makes me interested to see it if you flipped it. Rotate this around that way so you actually have the back of the couch right there. But it's it's interesting because I like the ten dollar layout that, that's more fine. than the twenty. I mean, but she gave us four, so really these are only like five dollars each. Yes. So now we have this was hundred dollars. Oh wow! You would dig this. I like this, this a is, lot. You love an angle. This is crazy. Like she basically turned the whole room forty five degrees, which how does she knows you? She maybe she found a, YouTube. A shoe rack. I think a lot of people do that off of an entryway. I don't think you have to be into sneakers. This is very intriguing. There's a lot of I would have never thought of this. Yeah, she really utilized like the for a room space. with so many dead spaces. And I mean, when you think about what I had to do to utilize that dead space, she's done it without that, just with placing furniture in unique places. So. 
if I would have seen this before we did anything, you would have tried this it. would have changed my my frame of mind did in how I approached anything it. Anything else or just the just one? that? So a hundred bucks, just one thing. But like, I kind of think she knocked it out of the park in this terms one's of really outside of the box. I would have said, let's live with this for a week and see what it feels like. Yeah, for sure. Dutch by Design. So this was one hundred and fifty five dollars, and this was. A whole like booklet so i'm just gonna open it and we'll kind of go through it so actually before we get into it this one was a little different like once you got into the 155 dollar and the 350 dollar one closer to like hiring an interior designer where she gave me a questionnaire and asked you know she really wanted to like get a sense of my taste she was giving us more than what we really needed but she was doing literally all the work for us yeah this is a portfolio right here oh okay so, they so have here the she same... has the dining table up against that wall. Right. And then she's kind of turned it into where we're sitting as like a little reading nook, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then this is like the kind of like a small living room area. It, it feels like this is a big dead area. And then these are very well utilized, but kind of small, but maybe it wouldn't really be in real life. I feel like this would be the layout for empty nesters. Like an older couple, maybe that just like needs a little pocket of like. Maybe we'll do it in like 20 years. Maybe. It is nice to have like an open area for the bulk of the time. But then you figure if you were having a party. Right. This could pull out towards the center of the room yeah. and open up into a bigger table a big or whatever. Flow. So then, then you are utilizing that space. And then when you don't need to, it's just like free area to walk through. So there's something to be said, I think, for like not having to feel fill in every little nook right. and cranny. That's why I feel like it's com compartmentalized into little sections. So that's interesting. It almost feels like you're at like an IKEA or whatever, where you're looking at like little room Displays. setups. Oh, I kind of like that. It is. I like bar. that space. Yeah. Okay, here's another layout she did. It's almost current ish. That's not bad, actually. That's kind of a smart way to do that. Where, Because that whole thing was added on, in my mind, I always think of it as this like Separate. rectangle that you have to use. But she's kind of looking at it more where it's like, well, it's really just that little tiny part of it that's mm -hmm. unusable. So. I really like the layouts with the walkway right here. So here was the $350 one. So I'm going to do the main ones first. This is actually close to what we really have. I was going to say, I like it, but probably because <laughs> what I'm is, used to. This is what our logical conclusion was, too. But I like the L shape right here. Ooh, I like this wall. Too. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I like that. These renders are really good. Yeah. I mean, that's probably a more normal way to utilize mm -hmm. that little nook that works well. I would say that this is probably, for as unexciting as it is to us, for most people... If this was like your main area of your house that you're using, I would say this is probably the best yeah. layout. Okay, but then she did also give us an alternative. That's kind of what I was saying. Remember yeah. in the first one, turn this so around turn it and put the TV yes. on that wall. Oh wow! And then she made yeah. like a banquette in there. Oh, that's I awesome. That was just no. That's like a table. A different and then part of the there, floor. So they're seating there, and then you could do chairs. Oh. I like this a lot. Remember to bar? Yes, I remember to bar. I wanted to build this table that would go through this opening. And so on this side, you could have regular chairs at it. And then on the other side, you could have kind of bar height chairs. It'd be this weird pass through shared table for doing homework or office work or. Well, what about this banquette then? Would you? I mean, I could, I see how it can work. It's open, but there's not an inch of dead space. Like she's yeah. used everything really well. If you wanted to, you could add something here. Yeah, you could add you something here, to. but you don't have to. It still looks. Now I kind of want to put curtains up there. I don't like curtains. I mean, I guess if you but were doing this, But look at how it ties would. it all in. It adds warmth. I really like that wall. I would live there. You do live for there. For a week in that layout and see if I really like it. Well, maybe in three years, we'll redo the living room again. Okay, so let's uh, rank. Yeah, it's kind of unfair to rank to just rank them because this one's thirty five times more expensive right. as the first one. So I, I guess okay. Before we rank them, I would say overall, I felt like I got my value for all from all five of them. Yeah, for sure. For what it was, 
$350 seems like a lot to spend on something. If it got you to be like, oh, this is the way I want to do this living room rather than doing it one way and then changing it a few years into it, like that's going to cost you way more than 350 bucks. Yeah. Hypothetical. This room's empty and we have to furnish right. it. You right. just saw everything that you saw. Yeah. What do you want to do? What do you want to explore first? I mean, I would do the $100 one. So I think we're kind of on the same page there. Yes. And I mean, I did like this last one too. Me too. I think her alternative layout, but I think that I'm biased and I want to do the weird thing. So maybe for most people watching this who haven't had our experience of living here for 10 years would probably look at and be like, no, you're crazy. Do the normal one. Like it's the normal one because it's good. Well, it's interesting because when we redid the living room and we finally got a couch and it when it was up against the wall mm -hmm. we used it but not as much and then once we turned it and it was different and it separates it felt like it feels yeah. like this is the living room this is the dining room and we use it a lot more now right and i mean this does that even more right okay let's say we were selling this house and it was empty and so there were people oh. that were moving in, strangers, you know nothing about them. Yeah. And you were going to give one of these files to them. I would not give them the one <laughs> because no, I, I think, think it's too most crazy. people, yes. I don't either. I'd either give them the Living Bright one or honestly the Julieta one because that was 20 bucks and it was four different layouts. I mean, honestly, that might be an interesting selling point for anyone who needs to sell a home but can't afford staging it you could just display like here are some options envision yourself in a b Actually, c or d a bad idea. like put pictures and like hang them on the wall of like, yeah like render <laughs> like have like the like the 350 dollar girl yeah. like those renderings were this could be you yeah that's actually not a bad idea i never thought about that <laughs> as an alternative to staging someone take that because we're not we... going to be selling our house anytime soon i don't think probably not Bye. Bye. Hopefully that came out. I hope so too because...